Hello, I'm Emma Jones, a destination wedding videographer, and today we are talking about what to wear for your engagement session. So first we'll start off with why your clothing matters, and it's truly because clothing can make or break your shoot. Photography and videography is art, and if you're using poor or cheap products to make that art, it can really diminish the quality and the worth of the art. And the art is you and your photos, and you want those to be as high quality as possible, right? So let's go over this real quick. Okay, so you want these photos to feel like you. You want them to be a representation of your love right now, and your life, and the season you're in. But you also want your photos to last. So my first tip is to go through your own closet. If you're planning on buying something new, I would still do this step. Um, it's really important to see what you like and not just buy a piece of clothing for a photo shoot that you're never going to wear again. You want to pick something that feels like you and you want to make sure you have a good knowledge and grasp of your style and what you will continue to wear, but you just want something that reflects who you are. If you do buy something new, make sure you wear it a few times before the day of the shoot. Make sure you're really comfortable in it, it has movement, it has flow, like you're not constricted or constrained and you can like move your arms and your legs. Movement is so important in photos and video. I also don't want you to pick something out of your closet and be like, alright, I'll wear this because it's okay, I have it. Pick something special that is meaningful to you if you're gonna pick anything. Don't just settle for mediocre because again, it's like you're going to get a mediocre product or feel mediocre just because you wore that one thing. Literally, there's so much that can impact your photos and if you wear a shirt that you don't really like, you're not gonna really like the photos. You're gonna be like, oh, I should have worn something else. I should have bought something new. So there's a whole bunch of options, but don't just settle for what you already have because you don't wanna buy anything new which makes you feel mediocre about your photos, okay? Let's have good photos, even if it's something you already own. Like, that's 100% fine, okay? Okay, okay. The three things you definitely want to remember when trying to pick out a shirt or an outfit is movement. It needs to have flow, like I already said. It needs to be able to move and be not constricting and really just let you be free in who you are. Number two is timeless. This look needs to last for 10 years. You can't like get rid of your photos or your outfit in these photos 10 years from now when you're gonna hate your outfit. So pick something that really is truly timeless and for an engagement session, I recommend white. White is classic, white is just timeless, and it gives you the bridal glow. The only time I wouldn't recommend white is if it has specific features that are very fast fashion based. We don't want any trends in your photos that definitely are not going to last 10 years. And the last one is make sure this is all you. You don't want your photos to look like somebody else's photos. You want to make sure your outfit looks like you. Your photographer is good at making you genuinely act how you normally do with your love. Every single person has a totally different style and look and yours needs to reflect you for guys and girls. All right, so now onto colors and colors are usually what mess everybody up. One color can throw off the whole look. It's so high pressure, but it doesn't need to be. So first I'd recommend what is your setting? Like think about that when you're planning your outfit and you don't want to wear like super bright colors if you're going to be in a very natural environment. You don't want to wear super dark colors if you're going to be in a darker like woods or something like that. So thinking about where you're going to take your pictures can actually be super helpful in planning what you want to look like and not stand out too brightly in the environment. We want you two to look good together, not just one person stand out because they have like a bright orange shirt with like black stripes on it. That's not cute. And you're gonna stand out and you're not gonna look like a couple. Your eye will automatically be drawn to the person in the bright, super bright colors. But that does not mean I support neutrals. Well, all neutrals. If you are going to have color in your outfits, which please do, I recommend uh, any of these colors. Also, I highly recommend having a statement piece that is colorful or patterned, but not a full outfit. But still no bright, crazy colors or patterns. 
So when you're wearing that color or that pattern, make sure the rest of your outfit is all neutrals. And they can be any color of neutrals. It's not a huge deal, but just make sure there aren't two um, conflicting colors and make sure your pop of color matches with your significant other's pop of color. Like if you are wearing a dress and it's like, say it's like light pink, which I love, um, <laughs> make sure your significant other, he can be in like light blue or like a medium wash blue. Like something that isn't going to stand out, but it's actually gonna make you look way better together. All right, so just a few outfit ideas for the girls first, and then I will also cover guys because guys need help too. <laughs> so number one, I would say flowy dresses, um, flowy sweaters. Jumpsuits and rompers are sometimes great. I don't know, I have a hate-love relationship with them. I would recommend a romper if it's not too short and you can like move freely in it and it's not like pulling in certain areas or too tight if you know what I mean. I'm a short girl and I even get some like lengthwise pull which makes certain areas not so flattering. <laughs> but jumpsuits are usually great, um, very cute and it helps you have like a cohesive look. We love the casual like denim and a t-shirt. That's great, that's perfect. Also, I love the cocktail dresses that people wear, specifically when they do like downtown engagement sessions. If you're doing a downtown engagement session, feel free to fully dress up. Make sure you can still move though, like that's literally the most important thing. And make sure you're going to be comfortable, you're not like pulling things up all night, you're not putting your straps back on all night. Stuff like that, make sure it's not a high maintenance piece of clothing, but you will look bomb. You will look so bomb in those photos. Like, those always look so good. Also, the same goes with your makeup as with your clothing. It needs to feel like you. If your makeup is five pounds more than you typically wear, don't wear it to your engagement session. You want those pictures to reflect you. Personally, I would barely spice it up over my day-to-day -day makeup. I usually don't wear foundation, so I put foundation on and then my day-to-day -day makeup and maybe a little eyeshadow. Don't feel pressure to over-process your face or your jewelry or anything that you're overly worried about. Just be comfortable, be you. That's the most important thing. Also for your hair, make sure it is down. Make sure you can move it and flow. <laughs> that was horrible. Um, make sure you can just have so much movement and fun with it that it's not like in like tight bobby pins that are gonna be really hard to move your head with. Um, again, just make sure it's low maintenance. You wanna have fun and not worry about your outfit or your makeup or your jewelry or your hair or your shoes. There's so many other things to worry about, so just make it foolproof. Right, now onto the guys. <laughs> so we love a statement jacket, like a bomber jacket. We love like a Henley button up. We love like a textured sweater. That is a great look. Flannels are really hard. They just, sometimes they're way too bright or way too patterned. And you really need to be careful making the call if you're going to wear a flannel. Wear a flannel with darker colors. It's really gonna stand out if it's too bright or too patterned. Next, we have classic denim and t-shirt. We have khakis, anything that really reflects your personal style. Also, along with a cocktail dress, if you're going to the downtown area to take your photos, your significant other is dressing in a cocktail dress, feel free to put on a suit coat. You can wear jeans with it if you want, or you can dress up the full nines. I'm telling you, your fiance would love that. Um, but feel free to be comfortable and casual still because you also want to have movement and be able to move and flow and feel comfortable and feel like you. Guys deserve that too. And for guys' hair, try to wear it without as much product as possible just so it doesn't look wet or overly gelled. I have some absolute no's for clothes and shoes and accessories and stuff like that at the end, but right now we're going to go into location and season. So obviously when you're choosing clothes for your engagement session, you're going to take into consideration the weather and the season and all of the factors that play into that. Um, right now I'm living in Michigan, so there's four seasons, so it's a lot to worry about, but it's fine. <laughs> but for your location, if you have not seen where you're getting your photos taken before, ask your photographer for a picture. Ask 
for a reference photo of what it kind of looks like, the colors that are involved, and that way you can plan easily, and it also helps you know what to expect. Think of your location as the art that's already there, and now you guys need to be put into that art. And so what are you going to be wearing? What is going to be timeless and special and romantic to both of you and create amazing photos? Also just think what makes the most sense in that location. That can help a lot. <laughs> Everything really dead in the winter here, so maybe add a little brighter of a color. I'm not saying go all the way full primary red. Please stay far, far away from that. And yellow and blue. But add something with a texture to your outfit or a very minimal pattern, something that's gonna kind of spice it up and make you guys stand out, but in a good way. All right, here's the real tea of this video. Here's what absolutely never, not ever to wear, okay? Make sure you're not making any of these mistakes, okay? Sounds good. Avoid crisp, starch, unmovable clothes. Anything that makes you feel constricted or pressured or any of the above. Also stay away from business wear. We don't need any blazers. I know they're trendy at some points and not other points, but just don't wear a blazer. There's no reason to wear a blazer. You literally can't move your arms above here, so there's no reason to. Okay, here's one of the biggest sins you could make when picking out your engagement outfits. Okay, please don't do this or just any photo shoot in general. Like this can be applied to anything. No athletic wear. Not shoes, not leggings, not a shirt, not like even, don't even wear a sports bra. Like no, none of that. That cannot be had at this engagement session, okay? The one I've seen the most is like the gym shoes and it's just not cute and it ruins the outfits because you put a lot of work into that and you don't want to just skimp on the shoes and forget about those. Okay, next is another big one I see, which is logos or patterns. If your logo is bigger than the size of a quarter, which I know some t-shirts like put their logo right here, if your logo is bigger than a quarter, that's not the shirt for this engagement session. That's not, that's not it. It could be your favorite shirt. And I'm sorry, but unless you're removing the logo from that shirt, do not wear that shirt. Also, no words. I've seen a lot of shirts with words across them like this, or they, the pattern is words. Just don't wear those. That's too much information coming to your eyes, and so your eyes are gonna focus directly on that shirt pattern, and you're not gonna see the rest of the beautiful photo. Last thing is trendy patterns and neon colors. Neon colors, were popular a little while ago, too soon, too soon ago, and neon colors will literally ruin the photo from the start. They reflect really badly in the lens of the camera, and they do really weird things in the photos, and they just don't flatter any skin color or body type or literally anything. Just stay away from neon colors. Specifically, I like can't stop thinking about neon yellow, like, it grosses me out. <laughs> Avoid it. So last but not least, let's wrap it up with just a few more notes. Number one, if you are not in communication with your photographer and videographer for your engagement session, I would highly recommend either getting in contact with them and asking them if they like your outfit, or I would recommend bringing several options, tops and bottoms, to the actual shoot, so then you can decide together. Uh, but make sure it still all feels very comfortable and personal to you. Also, personally, I send out Pinterest boards to give you a little visual inspiration because I know that's a lot easier than just talking about it. And so if your photographer or videographer sent you a Pinterest board, definitely go check that out. And it can be really helpful because you can pinpoint exactly what you have in your closet and what the Pinterest models might have. Last but not least, please don't stress. We will make you look good, even if you're wearing neon yellow. Yeah, um, we will still make you look really good. So please don't worry and just have a good time. Sit back and relax.